Welcome back to Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, for the rest of your life, you can only watch TV shows or only watch movies. Where are you going? Well, I want to watch both because they're both great and they both have their their pros. Um, but if I had to pick one, give me TV shows. There's just more versatility in the TV show genre, Jones. I got rom com or not rom coms, sitcoms. I got you know dramas. I got shows like Grey's Anatomy that have gone for 800 seasons, and you got little one season shows like or two season shows like what was that show about the hotel? I don't even know what it was called. Hotel but, Transylvania. It's a no, great movie. No, though. no, no, no. But anyway, it's not the point. The point is, I get reality shows. I get talk shows. There's just an unlimited amount of television to be consumed whereas movies yes there's a lot of it but it's just much more finite and it's much more restrictive jones give me tv shows movies are much more finite i don't think you'll you could watch movies from now until the end of your life and you won't run out of movies plus they're making movies all the time the film industry is back and better than ever baby let's go uh it's movies all day elias um they're more i i would definitely say that we've seen a i love tv shows and we've seen a great increase in tv shows over the years especially with hbo in this decade of investing more in your tv shows and really making strong tv shows but where historically has the money been invested and continues to be invested it's in movies that's where that's where a mo like the great actors they are film actors they and talk about like time commitment and how that works you get two hours three hours maybe at max these days some of these movies are three hours four to yeah. have sometimes four but that's way less than the 80 hours it takes to understand a show i'll watch a show for one season enjoy it and then by the time the next season comes around i don't have time or i don't care i've already forgotten what's happened in that little two minute summary that they put at the beginning is not good enough for me so why don't i invest just two hours sit down when i have time and get told a complete story i mean it's movies all day you, my friend, are a genius. You're absolutely right. And that just proves my point even further. Television shows are much longer and there's much more content within them and they take a long time to watch. And therefore, if you could only watch one genre forever, that's much more fulfilling. Jones, think about the rewatchability factor, okay? Let's say you have one favorite movie that you love more than anything. Let's say it's Interstellar, okay? Are you telling me you're going to sit down and watch Interstellar every single night? No, you're going to get super bored of it. And so you're not going to be able to watch that often. You're just going to get bored. Whereas if you have a favorite television show, like, for example, The Office, you could watch The Office every single day, Jones, and you would not get bored because you would get to the end, <laughs> which it would take a few months to do. And then when you finished, you could just go back to the beginning and you wouldn't be bored because it's still kind of new and it's still kind of refreshing. You get, you know, a couple of hundred hours of television out of any given TV show, whereas you're only getting two from a movie. You're just getting a lot more bang for your buck. And if you had to pick one forever, it just makes more sense. What are you talking about? You would 100% get bored. I've gotten bored of The Office. I've gotten bored of The Office when I haven't even finished The Office at some points. I love the show, and I've watched the show multiple times. But if you're a person who is telling me you're watching episode one of The Office going all the way to the end, to Dwight and Angela's wedding. By the way, that's the whoa, ending. Whoa, Sorry whoa, to spoil whoa, it. Whoa, if you whoa, haven't whoa. seen it by now, I'll spoil the end of The Sopranos on the next episode, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to spoil everything now. But, and then you go right back to Diversity Day or, or the pilot or wherever that lands. Are yeah. you kidding me? That's your life? If that's your life, please email me 5 pod at gmail.com right now and let me help you because that can't be what you're doing all the time. Sure, if you have a favorite movie, watch it once a year, twice a year, right on a special occasion. But there's always more to be watching, whether it's TV shows or movies. You're never going to run out of either of them. So to imply that you're going to take the ability just to watch TV shows and then just watch The Office on a loop for the rest of your life. Oh, my goodness. Well, Joe, I'm not advocating for that, okay? And I do think... Sound Anybody out there who watches The Office every single day of their life probably should seek some help, probably from a professional, uh, and probably pretty soon. I would not subscribe to that kind of lifestyle. I don't. Um, but there is some sort of comfort that comes from watching a television show, having a favorite television show, especially like a sitcom where it's just kind of relaxing. You feel like you got to know the characters. You feel like um, it's just some sort of comfort. And you don't get that with movies. And so, yes, I think that is actually – something nice that comes from having a television show that you could not get from having a movie. And the other thing is, Jones, you're just not thinking about so many different kinds of television shows out there. Think about, like I said earlier, reality TV, talk shows, comedy shows, you know, like people going out on the street, 
Like, there's just such a wide range. You could watch a one day Breaking Bad, the next day Impractical Jokers, the next day The Office, and the next day The Bachelor, and boom, like, you're just not getting that kind of range or that kind of versatility from film. Versatility. One day I could watch Borat, which is, like, on the street. The next day I could watch the Impractical Jokers movie if I really need my my Impractical Jokers fix. Then I could watch the Guys and Dolls movie and see Frank Sinatra and Marlon Brando at the top of their games. I'm telling you, you're not going to find too many TV shows where those two were collabing. And then I could watch Killers of the Flower Moon and see De Niro and DiCaprio and Scorsese at work. Talk about rage. Are you kidding me? That's your four? You're going Borat, Impractical Jokers, (laughs) Killers of the Flower Moon, and Guys and Joel. You just went the That's your four. Are you oh kidding me? My oh Somebody, my gosh. Somebody call Letterbox because I tell myself I'm not gonna get mad every time I do one of these with you, and I do every time. This has been Gimme Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram <laughs> and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic. Eli, thanks for talking. Always a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.